I'm on? I'm on. <laughs> so, let's introduce you to the best trimaran in the world. Hot sauce. Gather round all you floaters. I got a story to tell. I'm 30 days in a boat down. Turned into 13 months of hell. You know I got, I got them low down boatyard blues. After helping Karen and Andreas put up their mast, we decided it would be a good time to show you all Hot Sauce, a very fast little trimaran that they almost completely gutted and have rebuilt. It's a 44 right now. It's actually 46 feet actually because we extended it two feet. Uh, it's a Trevor Banks design and it's a pretty fast, fast boat compared to a lot of other boats. What is the kind of speeds you get on it? Mm, top speed. <laughs> Who knows? Top, yeah, <laughs> if I go on previous owner's logbook, uh, top speed, as uh, I've seen 22 knots, wow. I think. And it's pretty easy getting double digits, like 10, 12, 15. And That's cool. uh, so that, the nice thing is to, it's so light, it's only 7,000 pounds. So a little bit more than 3,300 kilo. Yeah and um, uh, you can push her along with very little wind uh, with a good spinnaker or uh, so that's a nice thing you don't need to turn on the engine uh, yeah uh, when everybody else is doing that, that's what you dream about at least yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah this is my boatyard project it's not not my sailboat really not yet <laughs> not yet so we'll see what day i will bring it out to the ocean Soon, I bet. Much fun to take the mess down. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> More tricky. Especially when we are uh, making shanklays also. I don't know if it's going to be or not. Yeah. And a new horse day. You, you have this is what Andreas made? Yeah, we're just for the Just for the... Until we make a roller put up the road. Ah, yeah. Before you couldn't. Uh, so this was like an extension? Yeah. So we did that. And, uh, before you took, uh, go over to the to the deck, you had to climb through here. And come up here. So we wanted to be able to... An easy solution to get from the aft part of the deck. And uh, now it's not so stretched because we haven't restretched it. Um, <laughs> Since we put it on, and uh, uh, I made a mistake here. I made it too short, but that's uh, or too small. The width is smaller than the width of the boat, but that's pretty good because yeah, we yeah, need to stretch it more. If you have the original <laughs> yeah, exactly. Space to go down in Kama. Oh wow! <laughs> so what's down there? So it's the access for the chain oh, plates. Oh. So we've been replacing like one bulkhead and I think no, it's two meter of the deck it here. Yeah, the two bulkheads in here, all these side. Ah, uh, yeah, so you can get up in there. Whoa, that's hard work. <laughs> yeah, it must be so hot. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's squishy. <laughs> When you're standing up there and looking at that boat, there's so much more space. Yeah, yeah, they got a lot of deck space up here. You guys are going green, green, gray. Green, green gray, gray, white. Yeah. Green, gray, green. white. Yeah. I can stand as straight as possible and I'm not close to hitting the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, nice, isn't it? I'm afraid I'll ride with it, yeah. And then I mean, you have one single berth there you can sleep. And then here is a single, but you can pull this out and make it to a double. Oh, that's cool. So we will probably sleep here if we could choose. 
and uh, then you just pull it back. We haven't made that. I need a bracket here. Yeah, and mm. here it is. We're gonna have a table. We have the table and we had the wood trim. Uh, the wood trims is lying here. They just need to be uh, assembled yeah. and <laughs> painted. And we need to make some legs for it. Yeah, and all the storage is new. So Karen's made like sliding doors here. That goes in here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Countertops and storage solutions. Is oh, all, that's a nice little new. one. Yeah. Um, it was pretty crazy when we started this season. Everything was just empty in here. Yeah. yeah. We really had to start from scratch here. Yeah. yeah, we ripped out everything last season. and uh, so. I think the hardest part was just building the structure from this. I was sitting here on my knees just scratching my head. How am I going to do this? <laughs> yeah, because it needed to be strong enough. And, uh, yeah. No. It's so weird. I've been working with this for, for one more year. One year. It <laughs> yeah. doesn't look like much, but it's, it's You guys have done an incredible amount of work though, like yeah. knowing what we've had to do just to like tidy things up on chuffs, let alone rebuilding like the kitchen and yeah. the, just this box is another story. I don't know how long time it's been uh, it's never sort of never been finished. It's like we started with this box maybe one and a half year ago <laughs> and it's been so many steps and different modifications and finally it's an inspection hatch for uh, the dagger board it needs to be uh, have an exact fit and needs to be able to um, to fold it up or something uh. and uh, yeah we, and it also needs to be all sealed because it can splash up a little bit mm. yeah hopefully it's gonna work <laughs> and the floor was a lot of work also. Yeah. I like the floor, yeah, it's, it's cool. Great now, mm -hmm. Yeah, Jesus, you uh, you were fighting a lot with it. Sanding and priming and priming and sanding and priming, priming, priming. I think it was a one component of paint in the beginning also, so I didn't really know how to get rid of it. So we put so, a layer of epoxy on it. Uh, yes, so, so that will. Yeah, we sealed it with epoxy yeah. first. And at first, we didn't want to put a clear coat on. We thought it would be enough with just paint. Because, yeah, the gray and the. Green is just paint, but then like no, we have to have a clear coat on it. So, so that we have an uh, extra couple of days. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. Have, what do we have? Four four coats of clear as well on it, yeah, so it's gonna so. stand up a little bit better. And yeah, I like the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and the countertops have been. Yeah, that's another project. <laughs> <laughs> that's like engine. Yeah, that's um, a engine. berth. You can sleep in there. Oh yeah, engine yeah, and berth. And um, yeah, so that's a water tank too, and. Um, Oh, yeah, with the inspection ports there. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so all our electronics is our uh, not electric things. It's hard to see, but it's inverter. Mm, and, looks uh, nice and neat. Yeah, pretty much, I would say. And here will be the electrical panel. We haven't, we're not finished with them, really. So we're going to sit there. And, and then the... And then it just getting more cramped the yes. further up you go. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> one at a time. Yeah. yeah. So here is Karen's been working with the panel you had out there. Yeah. It's covered here. It's the same as you will see. We go into the toilet. When you see looking to the toilets. Oh the yeah. Solution. So that's the same. Um, oh, the panel. Yep. Yeah. I see. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like some storage. Oh, once you're uh, in its a room, it's just getting up here. <laughs> yeah, it's, you need to be a little, little bit flexible. Mm -hmm. It's not the, it's not going to be the first um, spot where you sleep. Yeah. Sleep at probably the last one here. But it's possible. It's mainly going to be storage for sale, mm -hmm. sales and lines. And uh, yeah, this is like a, a pivoting arm for the windlass. So we're using it. Oh, you're putting a, a, cool putting a rope, up, rope up here just because you want the chain to come in the middle because yeah. it's a, such a small compartment so it really needs to be efficient mm -hmm. so that needs to be exactly in the middle and then it it doesn't jam and then we don't use it just fold it back oh, that's a really good idea yeah so that's another project <laughs> i mean this, i mean that everything is uh, mm -hmm. projects that have been going on and, uh, yeah even the little things like that it just take yeah intense the amount worst, of time. The worst thing with this area right now is the ventilation. So we're putting in, we're going to put in ventilation that goes from outside from the hall and in here uh, mm -hmm. like electrical blowers that ah, electrically yeah, yeah. blows mm -hmm. in the, because here is a really bad uh, area. I think yeah. even though we have a um, hatch up right, right now. Just not getting the flow. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 
that coming out. But when you just put them on, it looks so much better also. No. Oh, they are cool. No. I like the gray and green. They look really cool together. Yeah. And how long have you been here total? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm up at 27, 28 months. You're here you do 20, counting, and you're here 25. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's many hours. I think I calculated the other day to like 14,000 man hours. <laughs> and how, how long were you expecting? <laughs> Easily four months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the last last half year, you've been saying uh, one month all the time now. So I, I think... feel like I do that too. <laughs> I, I started with three to four months when I got here. Yep. Yeah, that's but then in, ah, maybe idea. a couple of more months. Ah, July, definitely July, definitely September, October, no problem. December, far away <laughs> from here. <laughs> February, yeah, because Kerry's soon going home, so we need to be sailing together. <laughs> February, nah, March, we're in March, and you go home tomorrow. Yeah, and you're not yeah. Been sailing uh, yet, and I probably go home soon too. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. boat jobs always take. Five times as long as you expect, oh I think, gosh, at least. Yeah. <laughs> we learn that now. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm learning too, don't worry. <laughs> More, yeah, that will be, I don't know if you ever learn. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. I'm on? I'm on. <laughs> so, let's introduce you to the best trimaran in the world. Hot sauce. Karen and Andreas actually have their own YouTube channel you can check out and you can see what hot sauce looked like originally. I've provided a link up in the top right corner there that you can click on. Thanks for watching this Chuff special on hot sauce and her really cool owners Andreas and Karen. We hope you enjoyed it and as I said check out their YouTube channel Sailing Less Plastic and until next time stay chuffed everybody. <laughs>